Today, we're going to be going over this book, Sheep, Small Scale Sheep Keeping. If you're new here, we're a homesteading operation that is dedicated to better soil, better plants, better animals. Let's get to the book. I, I looked at a lot of books. There's probably hundreds of books out there about raising sheep. And um, what made this one really stand out to me is uh, the small scale sheep keeping aspect of it. And I think that it actually stayed true to that. And I've read a couple other books that haven't emphasized it as much as this book has. So I really appreciated that about this book. There were a few things that I thought this book did an exceptional job at. Um, the first one that I'll call out is it has a section in there about building a better lambing kit. Like what does your backpack or your duffel bag look like when you go out into the barn or your pasture with the sheep when your ewes are actually giving birth. And for a newbie like me, that was super beneficial. It, it lays out, you know, it's not just bring iodine. It's like, you'll need this much. You'll also need this kind of uh, container for it. Or if you don't have that, you use a shot glass or like things like that. And I felt that that was really, really helpful for me. But one of the things I really liked about this book is that it lays out different breeds of sheep. So it helps you understand that there are sheep that are better for wool. There are sheep that are better for dairy, sheep that are better for meat. And then there's some dual purpose breeds that are in there. And that really helped me understand more about what I wanted to get after and what I wanted to pursue. I was not interested in wool, uh, which is kind of the first thing that comes to mind, right? With sheep. And so this book really helped me understand that like, just because you keep sheep doesn't mean you have to, you have to sell wool. And the cool part about this book is that it it really talks you through you know this is these are traits you look for in in a meat sheep you know you'll typically want uh, sheep that are hair producing sheep rather than wool producing sheep um, you obviously won't get wool but that's that's the price you pay kind of a thing and and that really helped me decide like definitively meat sheep was the route that that I wanted to go another thing that I felt like sheep small scale sheep keeping helped me understand was how to buy sheep. I think as a novice who has been to my fair share of state fairs, I thought that's where you go to buy sheep is, oh, I'll just wait till you know fall rolls around and I'll go buy some sheep there. This book was the first place to tell me this, but I've read it dozens of places elsewhere. It's, that's not a good place for a novice to, to get their first sheep. Not because the sheep are all bad, although that's kind of the stereotype, like, like I wouldn't know how to tell a good sheep, basically. And so what this suggests is, is go out to different operations near you and, and meet the, the owners of, the, of those flocks. That actually inspired me to do that. Like that was a very clear takeaway. And so um, I had known the breed that I, that I wanted to get after reading this book. I had decided I wanted Dorpers and I looked for, for breeders near me and I, I was shocked to find that there were about three or four that were within 20 miles of me in any direction. And I thought that was so cool. So I went out and I visited a couple of them. I emailed back and forth with some of them. I even got on the phone with some of them. And then I went out to a couple of their actual operations. And that was so cool for me. And the cool part was not just to, you know, see this could be my life later with the sheep, but to meet people that were just so eager to talk sheep with me. And if there's one thing that I was really grateful for is this book introducing me or telling me that it won't be scary. Like they will be, they will be happy to talk with you. And so it was really, really valuable for me to, to meet the guys, shake their hand and basically have a conversation with them for about three months in between the time that I said, yes, I want to work with you and, um, and them dropping the sheep off at my place. So I, I'll forever be grateful for this book for teaching me how to buy sheep. Overall, I was a huge fan of this book. It's always going to have a special place in my heart. The only knock that I give it is I would have liked more information about feed and pasture management. Knowing how your pasture needs to be is, is critical. I didn't get a whole lot from that. The benefits of it are it's a really good balance of tactical information balanced with just kind of fun facts and ideas about uh, small sheep keeping. So if you liked the video, I hope you like it um, on YouTube and I hope you subscribe and ring that bell. Until next time, we're High Mountain Homestead.